Straight up out of Atlanta, we make careers out of trap yeah, shit. Like a piss and matches, we focus on making packs. Yeah. Look, miss me with that cap yeah. shit, we dope pedal. Hey, I swear trapping was a sport, I win a gold medal. Third place, bitch, I feel like you Usain. Yeah. Black and yellow Glock 9 on me, I call it Wu-Tang. Old dirty bastard, dumping dick inside your boot thing. Like Look, I'm from the south side like two chains. God body, wide body, take up two lanes. Yeah. Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man, back with the blog, man. Make sure that like button, subscribe button, anyway, and I appreciate all the support, man. The riot last night, man. Shout out to Geechee for this card, man. Um, you had Geechee and Coffee. Obviously, you had uh, Jazz and Rum Nitty. You also had Vixen and Chilla Jones. You had Wise and I think Bad News and some other people that was on the card. Um, this card kind of was forgotten about a little bit, in my opinion. I think, you know, it was the same weekend as Max Out. Everybody kept saying it was Max Out weekend, but actually the riot was actually this weekend as well. If I'm being honest, I didn't feel like it was promoted the way it needed to be. Um, if I'm just being real, I feel like a card of this magnitude, it needs to be more than just dropping a flyer. You need a trailer. You need people talking their shit. You need a whole nine. Like in this day and age, this is what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? In order to gain more interest, you're trying to market a, a card the same weekend of max out. So you're trying to get people to spend money twice when the max out pay-per-view is already $75 and the tickets that go there is 200. The top two battles, man, um, Coffee and Geechee. This was a very disappointing battle. I felt it was underwhelming. I felt like it wasn't really that good. Scale to one to 10, this battle was like a six. It was a main event. And I really didn't like it that much, to be real with you. Uh, Coffee starts off. She has um, a pretty interesting intro. I'm not going to repeat it. You know what I'm saying? She had a little, little intro. Uh, what she's saying, when the culture was getting at you for that tree shit, I still hung with you. That was pretty cool. You wouldn't be where you are in Battle Rap without caffeine. Basically saying coffee provides caffeine. You wouldn't be in Battle Rap without caffeine. Uh, she had a little titty breastfeeding bar. Her first round was cool. It wasn't super crazy, but it was cool. I felt like she was just getting comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could tell there's definitely some tension there and. You know, you got one person not really trying to look at the other person. The other person not trying. It was like it was just kind of interesting. Geechee comes back. Um, he talked a lot about her fucking other ballers. He talked a lot about her fucking. You know, Jazz said that if she fucks Mac, she will own half the company. You was fucking P, and you couldn't even get one percent of the crucible. So he was on that type of time with her. Um, he had a little nice little flip about. Uh, you know how Tay Rock be like, I, I can't when I shoot you, I can't look at you. I gotta look away. He had a nice little flip about, I can't stand to kill you. And he was like, that's why I kneel when I do it. That shit was crazy, bro. I mean, that shit was fire. On the gang, bitch, it's time to stop the faking. It's my fault I even allowed you to act like a crip. I'm in violation. I'm from Nutty Block. Come to my hood. I could come show you. Miss Hustle was hot like, why y'all even letting her bang crip? I'm like, man, little cub lawyer. Plus, I got love for you. But I let her rock the bandana, even though the whole time it was making my blood boil. She clearly wins round one. He clearly wins the first round. After that, bro, I'm not going to lie. Geechee kind of went downhill after that. Like, he had stuff here and there, but it just seemed like coffee got better. Coffee wrote up and Geechee wrote down. And it's disappointing because I said that low key. Geechee could win champion of the year. I said it's low key. He's not a favorite. Obviously, you got the Big K and you got the Easy and people like that. But I said in a roundabout way, if Geechee wins every one of his battles and does well, he could win champion of the year. Meaning if he beat Coffee and beat her in a, with, a, with a good showing and he was to beat Easy with a good showing, all of a sudden, he started, he kind of propels a little bit because Easy would come down because he lost to Geechee. Geechee would go up because he'd be easy. And then it's Geechee and Big K. And then it's about strength of schedule. And Geechee actually has way more battles than Big K. So I was like, in a roundabout way, Geechee could kind of sneak up there and be number two. But this was not a good performance by, 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 by Geechee, in my opinion, even if you got him winning this battle. 
even if you got him winning this battle, I still feel like for this to be a grudge match, this was kind of light. I'm not going to even hold you. Second round, um, Coffee talked about curving him. I curved you when you tried to to uh, to fuck my nigga. I even had to cut you cut off my dog. I had to cut off my dog. I had to neuter my nigga. Um, she had an air traffic controller. As soon as I land, we waving sticks. That was pretty nice. She talked a lot about him trying to uh, trying to like cater to the East Coast. Like you never put niggas like Jada Nightwing on, B Dot on, shit like that. You always cater to the East Coast niggas. You started doing two on twos with East Coast niggas. You lost your marriage because you was fucking jazz, and you even put it on the card. So that was her second round. Gishi comes back in the second round, talks about he. I don't really want to fuck you. I want to fuck over you. That was a pretty nice rebuttal. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even show you. Um, but he has simple stuff after that, man. Like. You know, I try to show you the ropes. Now I got to strangle you with them. That's like really simple. Uh, what's coming out of this can will fold you like a Folgers can. Nothing crazy. Um, uh, I did like this bar. You got fake paper. You put fake paperwork on a chick. You know, that's the thing. The paperwork, the restraining order shit with, uh, with, uh, with RX. If I ever gave out a restraining order, it's to choke this chick. That shit was fire. If I ever gave out a restraining order, meaning if I ever gave an order to my niggas to restrain somebody, it's to choke this chick. Um, uh, what else he had? Uh, when I hit cough, when I hit cough, she dropped. You'll have to haul this bitch out. Cough dropped, haul. That's the kind of shit Geechee was coming with, bro. Real cookie cutter. Like, e at least, at least, at this point in the second round, I told you Geechee won the first, Coffee wins the second. So now we go into the third. Um, the third was kind of hit or miss. I don't know. This battle really debatable, but I might pick this another, this another thing, man. When everything is lined up for you to win, you're on your league, you're battling in your backyard. You know what I'm saying? You just have to, you have to do your thing. Witty calls you pussy and you didn't even slap him. I might my name my Alma after that. That was actually kind of cool. Never going vegan. I ain't never going vegan. I don't give up on the beef. It's forever up with me. And we gonna keep it there. Me and these other freak bitches, how do we compare? I told my nigga he could bust this nut anywhere. Click it, blam. Yeah. Click it, blam. It's nasty. Fuck, he don't understand. I don't need guns. I'll get the nut with just my hands. Yeah. Goofy, coffee's third round was pretty decent pretty decent but so is so is Geechee you know what I'm saying so is, you take your wig off you bridge Rothstein you on OnlyFans nobody's nobody's uh uh subscribe to your OnlyFans you ain't making no money all that pussy you showing and you could all that pussy you be showing and you couldn't even sell ticks meaning that nobody was coming to nobody wanted to buy a ticket uh, what else he's saying? Um, I did like this bar. He said about no wonder old girl called stamp. You put a mail in her presence, basically saying she, my Miss Miami was looking for stamp because you brought a dude out. And she, he talked a lot about you always bring your boyfriend out to fight your battles and all this kind of stuff. And you, you keep putting women are always putting men in compromising positions because they start issues and they start fighting and then men have to come out and pretty much, uh, pretty much save the day. At the end of the day, this battle is debatable. You force me to pick someone. <sighs> it could go either way, man. But I, I get I give Coffee a lot of credit because she wrote up and I feel like Geechee wrote down. Geechee looked lazy in this shit. Good Geechee is way better than this, bro. I mean he's way better. He was lazy in this battle. It was kind of disappointing. I keep it real with you, bro. I mean, this joint was kind of disappointing if 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 I'm being like completely honest, man. Um, Rum Nitty and uh and Jazz. Rum starts off. This was, this was a pretty good battle though. This actually should have been a main event because it actually was a, was a better battle. Obviously, Rum Nitty and Jazz. Jazz has been Rum Nitty has been one of her favorites for the longest, and um, so them battling was a good look. And, and she said in an interview, "I just wanted to prove I can rap with Rum Nitty." First round, Rum Nitty comes out. He does a lot about talking about KCJ. You never supported KCJ. You didn't stand behind KCJ. You should have treated her like a charger and charged her up or some shit. Um, so that was charge case up or whatever. Uh, you needed a, what do he say? Leave it with a busted face. You needed to whip her ass case. You know how you know that punch was hard? Look at the jazz face. That was kind of fire, bro. I'm going to call they bluff. 
See, Jazz be hating on Case because she the face. That's something I cannot make up. When she battle, you don't call Case once to spar to see if her bar straight, huh? You never behind her on stage. That shit all fake love. Y'all two peas in a pod, like Apple headphones. A real pro would be there to charge Case up. I wish this bro. I wish this broad played tough. I can't wait. I'm gonna beat your stupid ass to death. Halfway. This how you should have whooped the ass case. Leave her with a busted jaw. You know how you can tell the punch was hard? Just look at Jazz's face. <laughs> Rum Nitty first round, it was cool. It was cool. I actually thought Jazz was kind of cooking in that first round. I'm coming with you. I'm coming at you with the little 23. That's Larsa Pippen. You know she pretty much dating Michael Jordan's son, so that's the little little 23 joint. Um, she has some shit. I be, I beat your ass. I bash a bitch till he dies. Like Kevin Samuel, you know he be bashing women. I'm sick. I'm really mental. I'll stick you with a pencil. It got caught on the bone. You know Cornell is hard to get into. Talking about the college, Cornell hard to get into. The crib will get hit. I'm nitpicking it. The shit will get lit. I'm lifting your shit. Y'all remember watching porn and your parents woke up? I'm quick with the switch. Then I'm Jazz got the first. Jazz got the first round of this battle. She definitely got the first. And I felt like Ramniti felt the pressure after that first. I think he realized he lost that first round. He turned up in the second round. Y'all didn't put this bitch in the trap. We gonna get location where she finna be at and spin around the back. I'm changing stations like Cleo from Set It Off while I sit in the lap. Like, can't listen to that, that, nor that. This for a set. Cause I'm really finna pop jazz, leave the country, then it's a rap. How He had a little beet magenta vegetable bar that was that was dope. But he had this bar. You either gonna suck it or choke. Don't be in here lollygagging. That shit was crazy, bro. You either gonna suck it or choke. Why you out here lollygagging? That's fire. That's fire right there. So yeah, shout out to <laughs> shout out to, to Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? He, he turned up in that second round. Jazz comes back in the second round. Um you don't leave no info missing. I work for 911. You know who else give info like that on recordings? Snitches. You be giving the cops intel. Be yourself. You a family guy. Stop living this big tale. What's your problem? He Joe Swanson, the Crip 12. You know what's got my Tim? Stop playing, son. Stop. Next time I alien next time I see alien hands, I'm splitting it. That joint was fire, but I still gave Ron Nitty the second round. Round three, man, I think this battle is closer than a lot of people giving this credit for. And it's not because I'm a jazz fan or anything like that. It's just that sometimes with Rum Nitty, bro, and I don't know how y'all feel about this. As nice as he is, he does have a lot of random punches that just be for anybody. In this battle, he kind of incorporated angles. He used the KCJ shit. He used the QP shit in his third round when he was talking about, I'll give you the dope and I'll put the QP in your pussy, but you should be used to that. He did have that. But a lot of times when I watch uh, Rum Nitty battles, he always has a lot of random punches. Whereas I feel like in this particular battle, Jazz was more direct than he was. She kind of really attacked him. Third round, she's talking about Ace Amin. What did she say? You was you was a uh, you was begging to be on the highest card, so they threw you an Ace or whatever card Ace. You know that go together. She talked about you're not where you need to be in battle rap. Beasley and URL don't respect you like you like you should. If you want to know why. That's why they threw you. That's why they threw their web MD, basically the web cuz webbing. That's his, that's his, uh, I think Twitter name or something and MD for Maryland, Ace Amin. Uh, so that was a nice little flip. Uh, what else? But if I got Jazz losing this third, it's because I felt like her angle with the 12 step program, I think it kind of, it was a decent bar at the end, but it took too long to get to the punch. Like she was talking, oh, if you take two steps back, two steps forward, then this, and then you took two steps back, and then two steps forward, and then two steps back. And she goes through this thing in it where she ends with, I got over rum, I took a 12 step program or something. I'm getting over rum, a 12 step program. That was cool, but the whole time she's doing that, I'm not really knowing where she's going at with it. Then she goes into this alien phoenix planet scheme. That she kind of lost me with a little bit too. So the third round, I do give the Rum Nitty. I got him winning the battle 2-1. But I do feel like Jazz had a good battle and it was close. I think if she would have cleaned up her third, got to the punch a little bit more, and left out those two parts, 
She had a possibility to win the third. She had already won the first. But um, when I look at Jazz, I don't really feel like this is a bad loss or even a loss that even really matters at the end of the day. A lot of people got her beating Clips. A lot of people got her beating Gishi Gotti to try to say you're going to beat Gishi Clips and Rum Nitty. Um, it's hard to do. And then she called out Mook and easy to block captain. So I like the fact that she's testing herself until Jazz loses to a female. It kind of doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I don't really put a lot of stock in male and female battles. I always feel like the men, as far as top tier men, are mostly better. So at the end of the day, um, until a chick clips Jazz, Jazz is still the top dog as far as female battle rap, in my, in my opinion. And Rum Nitty, shout out to him. He said he took this battle on on he wrote in two days for this battle because he you know he was just who did, who did he just battle he just battled ace yeah so he said he wrote this in, in two days so salute to him no chokes no stumbles man I, I, I give him his credit i gotta give him his credit um and uh jazz had like a little a little slight pause or whatever i ain't gonna really say it's a choke but she had a little pause and she looked at the crowd or whatever good battle though man good definitely a good battle um Better than the main event, and that's crazy. Better than the main event. So salute to the riot for that. Uh that's my thoughts. Two one rum nitty, man. Chris and Myers holler at your boy.